Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Wednesday, uh, June 7th. And for those that don't know me, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, um, The Real Real, and I have done live auction sales on whatnot. Um, so with that, what I've got for you guys today is another America's Thrift Supply five-piece purse box. Um, the last few have been fantastic for me, so let's see if we can continue. So, please, dear God, let there be another Hammett bag in here. And Frankie's here. Frank, you gotta be careful of mommy's knife. You know, I'm not real good with it. Oh, sorry, Frank, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, baby. Okay. Whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not seeing hammock bags on top. Okay, so $49.99, I did not use a discount code. They were so selling out way too quick. Um, first bag on top is already going to be a disappointment. So, first bag is a Rossetti. It is, um, faux leather. They don't resell. I will not end up listing this bag. I will, um, just put it in my donate bag and send it up to the Indians um, well, the Indian Reservation up in the UP, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So anyway, so that's what's going to happen to this bag. It's going to go in the donate pile. It's Rosetti. They don't resell. Um, so that's that. Next up, we have, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this brand is. <laughs> it has like cherubs. It's a snakeskin print. I don't know if it's a real snakeskin, real leather. I'll have to see if there's there's a, an adjustable crossbody strap. There are handles. The inside, um, there is a name. Janika? Janika? I'm not sure what that name is. So I will have to do some research on this bag. Again, I don't know if it's anything. I'm looking to see if maybe there's a fabric tag inside here. And the lining feels like good quality. So I don't know. I'll have to do some research on the bag and see. Um, I mean, it's... In the grand scheme of things, it's an it's a good looking bag. So um, I'll just have to look up the branding on that. So, all right, next up, I don't know what this is. Oh, Nine West. So just a cute little Nine West cross bot, cross body bag. Um, it does have some boo boos on it. I don't know if I'll list it. Nine West doesn't do a whole lot, so. All right, let's see. Next up is this bag. It is patent leather shoulder bag, adjustable strap, adjustable removable straps. Okay. Man-made materials, um, it's by MMS, another brand that I've never heard of. So, um, I don't know. I'll do my research. It's a cute bag, It's you know, um, but it's man-made materials. Um, so, okay, you guys, what a bummer. Okay, there's one more bag in here. Oh, 
Okay, it is this brown suede-like fabric. Um, I don't think it's real suede. It's got the chain strap, so you could do it as a shoulder bag if you wanted. Um, well, actually, wait. Okay, so you could cross body it if you wanted to. Um, it's actually, I mean, it's cute, it's shimmery. I don't see any branding and it doesn't feel like great quality. Okay, so then you can carry it like this or up over your shoulder. Let's see if I can find. I mean, it's huge and the inside is orange and Uh, it does say genuine leather, so Maurizio Tuati, I don't know. Genuine leather made in Italy. So, um, the bag does have some boo-boos on it, but now that I know that it's genuine leather, I'm going to try to clean it. First, I'm going to take my suede brush and just see if I can lightly brush that stuff off. Um... But I'm gonna definitely look this bag up. It might be, it might be a new Bolo brand, you guys. So how many did I get? I got this one, two, three, four, and five. So. Um, I, to say the least, I'm not impressed with this box. I got one brand that I recognize, well, two, Rosetti, um, and Nine West, neither of which are great brands, but you know what? Hey, they can't all be winners. They can't all have hammock bags in them. Um, am I pissed off? No. You know what? This is, you play, you pay to play. So, um, these are the chances that you take, you know, sometimes you get a great box and sometimes you get a not so great box. Um, and there is potential in this box. Now, the two purses that I didn't recognize the names, um, they could actually both be Bolo brands like Hammett. You know, I didn't know Hammett until I looked it up. So, um, you know, I'm not doing backflips over this box. Um, but I also knew, um, I also knew that the party was going to run out here soon, you know, um, so, anyway, am I going to buy another one Friday? Probably. If I can score one, I'm going to get one. Because, honestly, I've done better on the five-piece boxes from them than I have with the designer bags. Because the designer bags are pricier. You're only guaranteed one, I think. Usually, they send two. But I've had it where the, the two bags, like, they have sent two, and the two bags just didn't fetch enough to cover the, the price. So again, it is what it is. Um, so with that, um, it brings me to story time. Now, you guys will see this video on Friday. Um, any of the purses that, I, that I'm going to list will be listed by then. Um, so, you know, if the Made in Italy bag is good or that blue snakeskin print one is good, those will be listed. Um, the rest of them, I don't think I'm going to bother with. So anyway, um, story time. I don't have a whole lot, you guys. Um, I have not been out since the night that Young Buck had to bring me home. I decided to keep my ass in over the weekend and behave myself, and I did. Um... I had a wonderful, I had a wonderful weekend at home. Um, and I got some things done, some things accomplished. I got some of my reselling stuff reorganized. Um, cause I, I had my 2022 in my normal spot and then I had my 2023 inventory piling up in my bedroom because I haven't, my girlfriend and I haven't had a chance to get the inventory done for 2023 yet. So I had been piling it all up in my bedroom to keep it separate. Well, I bought bins, I labeled them 2023 and moved them with the rest of my reselling stuff because my bedroom was just way, way, way too piled up. 
Um, what do I got going on? So this weekend, I am actually having dinner and drinks with my ex-husband. Um, not quite sure what's up with that. I, I, I really don't know. Um, I don't know. And... Let's see, crazy ass Bob did not hit me up for bike night tonight and it's kind of chilly anyway out. So I'm really glad cause I, I, I get cold so easy. It's gotta be 90 degrees for me to get on the back of a bike and be comfortable. So um, since it is in the sixties here in Michigan today, um, I'm really glad he didn't call. And you know, other than that, I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know, I, I'm chatting with Young Buck a little bit. Um, like I said, going to dinner and drinks with the ex-husband. I don't, I don't know. Um, and let's see, I'm on Bumble, you guys, which is a dating app. I probably told you that before. Um, I really hadn't had any luck. I had one guy... Because on Bumble, the girl has to make the first move. So I, you know, I had a match with somebody. So I reached out and I was like, hey, I'm new to this. Don't really know how to proceed. And the response I got back was, I'd love to meet up sometime. Dude, you're a random stranger. I'm not going to just meet up with you. So I tried to chat with him and he just wasn't having it. And he ended up removing himself from the conversation. So, Okay. Um, and I was chatting with somebody the other night on there, but then when I looked back to see where he lived, he lived over 60 miles away. And I just thought, you know what? I got a lease car. I can't be driving 60 miles one way to meet a dude. So, um, I left that one alone and so far no other matches on Bumble. <laughs> But you know what? Whatever. It, you know, I, look. I'm just taking. I'm gonna take life one day at a time. Whatever happens, happens. Um. It, eventually, somebody is gonna snatch me up <laughs> and make me theirs. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. But. Anyway, you know what? Just I'm loving life and feeling good. Technically, I can take my binder off today and go free. I don't know that I'm 100% comfortable yet with that. Um, I may, I, I, I am going to continue to sleep in it at least for a couple more weeks just to be on the safe side. Um, Cause really she did want me to wear it for a full eight weeks, but I was griping so hard about the itching, um, cause when I was wearing just the binder up against my plain skin, it itched me like nobody's business. So after I like scratched myself raw in a few places, I finally thought, ding, 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 ding. Why don't we put a tank top on underneath the binder and then put the binder on and maybe it wouldn't be so itchy. So, hmm, it worked. <laughs> Imagine that. I love it when I get so smart. Um, cause it did work. And anyway, um, so it makes the thought of wearing the binder a couple extra weeks, Ooh, excuse me to make my surgeon happy. It, it, it's not as daunting as what it was way back when I was itching like fucking crazy, you know? So anyway, with that, you guys, I don't really have anything else. I did order a fun box this week. So that I've got content for you next week. Like I said, I am going to try to score another America's Thrift Supply box, even though this one wasn't the best. Um, they can't all be winners, you know. So with that, I'm out. Peace.